this is a deer falcon. This is the largest species of falcon in the world. We do see them every once in a while in Colorado, and I'm sure most of you realize that for the last two winters now, um, 18 and 19, and then 19 into January of 2020, we had a male gray morph bird, quite similar to this one, hanging out at the Larimer County landfill west of Fort Collins. Jir falcons don't regularly leave the Arctic each winter like the rough-legged hawk would, but the juveniles are highly, highly migratory. This is also a species that takes longer to mature than peregrines or prairies do. They usually do not breed uh, before three years of age. Oftentimes, they don't really establish territories until they're four or five years old. This is a bird with a circumpolar range, so they breed in Alaska, in Canada, Iceland, Greenland, Norway, Finland, and Russia. Uh, this is the national bird of Iceland, and 99% of the birds there are this gray morph. The white birds are found in Alaska and in Greenland, um, periodically in eastern Russia as well. And then there is a black color, and the birds are blackest, blackest in their first year, that are found off the Labrador coast of Canada. And they believe the black evolved to blend in with the volcanic uh, cliffs there. Jeer falcons are very stocky birds in addition to just being large. And as you can see, like the Merlin, they really don't have a truly distinct malar mark. Um, because they do regularly come to portions of the United States like Montana, like North and South Dakota, um, even northern Minnesota or the uh, Atlantic coast like New, uh, New Hampshire on migration. It can sometimes be hard to tell what you're looking at, especially if you're like, could that be a jeer? But you know that's such a rare you know, sighting. Jeer falcons have a stockier body and definitely shorter, broader wings than a peregrine falcon. So if we were to blow up a peregrine to this size, he would still look chunkier with a squatter tail. See if we can have his wings. There we go, buddy, I know. This bird is 15 years old and I'll get to his history in just a little bit. So he is a darker gray bird. Many gray birds have a, a, a lighter head and some, somewhat of a faint malar mark versus the very solid cheek patch from his eye down to his uh, auriculars. Um, the white birds are snow white with various degrees of black, hey, black marks on their back and black bands on their tail. Birds that are selectively bred in captivity tend to have much whiter plumage and flu fewer um, black markings. So here's the amazing thing about the jeer falcon and any other uh, raptor or predator in the Arctic. They eat just about anything. Now, in most populations, especially Alaska, their populations and their survival is very intimately tied in with the uh, ptarmigan both willow grouse and willow ptarmigan, depending on what part of the world you're in, much like the lynx and the hair cycles that we all read about. But these guys will take anything that moves from short-eared owls to rough-legged hawks, young snowy owls, the remains of a trout have been found in some iries in Russia, all kinds of waterfowl, uh, young Arctic fox, young Arctic hare, if you're going to survive in the Arctic and live there year round, if it moves, you have to try and catch it. And unlike peregrines who naturally like to circle up high, ring in the air and do that stoop, jeers will do that as well, but their method is almost more Merlin-like. They will just chase it to the next tundra, the next country, even across the Bering Strait to grab their food. Um, Jeer falcons banded in Russia have turned up in Alaska and vice versa. These guys wander huge, huge distances, but they do not like the heat. So they wander with that very strong juvenile dispersal, but then invariably they go back to um, the Arctic area. 
So he weighs about 35 ounces, um, which is very average for a, a, a North American male jerk falcon. And your vocabulary word for this sub segment is jerkin, G-Y-R-K-I-N. That is the official name for a male jerk falcon. Um, females, especially some of the big white females in Russia and Siberia can get up to 64, 68 ounces. This guy is 15 years old. He was hatched in captivity. He was a breeding bird. He was raised by people. And if you guys have ever seen any of the technology that they use to breed endangered raptors, such as uh, peregrine falcons in the 70s and 80s, he was used in artificial insemination and would donate on a hat. If you look at that, you know, that technology, he was a hat bird. So. He's retired from breeding and now he has come to live with us and we're hoping his wild counterpart comes back again this winter.